something a bit different today i thought we'd do a video on winter wheels and tires so i tend to always run winter wheels i know a lot of people say well why do you need a set of wheels on for winter and a set of wheels for summer well if you're running like two three four five gram wheels you don't want to be driving around the winter well i don't anyway so i tend to stick a set of winter wheels on um, i'm a big fan of these actually they're amarok cantaras um, and i have uh, winter tires on these these have been on my last two vans during the winter. Uh, they've seen me go to Chamonix twice snowboarding and they are, um, makes a big difference. If you're anything like me and you run silly skinny tires with 20 inch wheels, um, people call them ditch finders. The grip can be terrible on them and especially in the wet weather and the snow, winter wheels and tires are, are definitely a, a good option to have uh, unless you kind of run something a bit generic all year round. So I've run these now for two years and big fan of them really like the look um, but we wanted to do something a bit different so quite a while back now um, a van came in that had the swamper air ride kind of look so the guy that came in came in for a tent box actually we'll try and dig out some pictures that we'll post up um, and he had the off-road wheel he had like the KMC hole shot with a standard size tyre uh, on air ride um, purely for the, for the kind of off-road mountain bikey kind of market that was what he used it for so he wanted to be able to lift it up as he went off tracks it's not really ideal actually have an air ride if you want the whole lifting because when you inflate the bags the the it gets really hard so the harder the, the higher the van the more air that's in the bags therefore the harder the ride so it's not really suited to the kind of off-road market but if you're not running silly high or you just need to lift it occasionally to go over things it's it is ideal for that so yeah, anyway, this van uh, looked really smart. So we asked the guy to air it out so we could get some pictures of it. And he was like, uh, I don't ever do that. So can you do it? So he just sort of wasn't what he used it for. So we aired the vehicle out, sat on the big knobbly tires and it just looked really good. And it kind of made me think, why has nobody done this yet? Why has nobody done the, the off-road kind of look with air? Um, probably good reason. I'm sure it'll be a love-hate thing. So let us know at the end of this video what you think, whether you like the look or not. But we thought we'd try on this. So the other thing that I think could work on this is it's the commercial look and the kind of swamp off-road look really lends itself well to the commercial look it's a lot more popular although people do high lines as well but it seems to be more common with the commercial look so we love the commercial look as we keep going on about so commercial and low looks good but commercial and high looks good so let's kind of find the balance in between the two is the idea uh, with this setup so it's taken me a while to get to this point one because we haven't really had a winter um ran these last year and also the hunt has been well i've been waiting for the right wheel to come along and then the fuel wheels came along. So you've probably seen us post some pictures of the fuel Zephyr wheel we have coming out soon. They're landing any day now, um, just held up at customs because of coronavirus and all that jazz and PPE stacked up in ports. So the Zephyr wheel, we'll put some pictures of those up on a van we've done previously. They arrive any minute. So I was kind of tempted to do it with those. And then fuel contacted us about their new wheel, which is the covert wheel. Now I really liked the I really like this on the summer wheels, which are the BBS with the bronze centers. And the covert also comes with a black lip and a bronze center. So when I saw this wheel, it was a definite. We had to try it. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, the hunt was then was to find the right tire. So that was where Mikey came in. I asked Mikey what he thought. He kind of hunted around and tried to find a, a tire that we think would work. So fingers crossed we found one. So it kind of mixes that able to go low, able to air out, still have the off-road look, mud and snow tyre, a bit of grip, could look aggressive, could look terrible, but I'll let you be the judge of that. And like I said, please feel free to comment below what you think, love it or hate it, let us know. So fuel wheels are really big in the US. I'll post some pictures of their other stuff that they do. Um, they've got some crazy wheels, really nice looking wheels. I think we'll see more and more of their stuff over here, especially in the Swamper market. So they make some crazy stuff that goes on those big American 4x4s and the big American trucks. They make our wheels look tiny. Uh, but yeah, uh, here's some pictures of some stuff that they do over in the States and we're slowly starting to see their stuff come through here But I think will they'll be really popular in the transport market So we're working alongside fuel to get wheels that suit the transport market because it's very different from what they're used to doing So getting the look right getting the load rating right getting the sizing right um, And kind of guiding them in the right direction where we think the wheel should go So hopefully we're getting it right um, But we'll see as the wheels start to come through but I think they'll be really popular and the quality of them is bang on. So anyway, let's pull this van inside, get these wheels off and get the new wheels on and let's see what you think.
done. And like I said, love it or hate it, let us know. I really like it. I think uh, I think this look might catch on. A lot of people will disagree. I'm looking forward to seeing the hate I'll probably get for this, but I think it really suits it. So these are the fuel covert wheels. So obviously they're going to be a lot more popular in the actual swamper market, the lifted market, than they are the guys that lower it. So ordinarily you'd probably run a 245, 65 235 on these uh, with the standard suspension or with a lifted suspension but obviously this thing's low this thing's on air so we're running a 225 55 17 obviously on these so the rolling radius of this is like bang on pretty much exactly the same as if you were in a standard, standard davenport so it, we've just had a quick look um so at 60 mile an hour it's just less than a mile an hour out on your speedo so it's pretty accurate these were pretty good fun to put on I do like a little bit of stretch um, and these have a bit of stretch but um, fitting them was was um, challenging and uh, might have involved some fire but uh, the results are good I really like them these are definitely staying on for the winter for me so these are as I said previously these are the new fuel covert wheels coming in several colors this is the black with the bronze centers same as the fuel Zephyr wheels that we've showed before they're also coming in with black with a bronze center so we've worked with fuels to get the fuel sorry to get the sizing right on these so these are a 17 by 8.5 wide offsets 34 uh, 5 by 120 obviously straight transport straight transport fitment and 65.1 center bore so they're exactly right you don't need any spigot rings or anything so there we go i'll just take you in a bit closer to have a look so on this we've put a 15 mil spacer on the back just to get the right look no spaces needed on the front. Yeah, obviously they're eight and a half wide all round, so that 15 mil spacer just gives that nice close fitment just there. Let's have a look around this side. So nice wooden snow tires, ideal for the winter. Looks good aired out, but also lift it to ride height, it still sits really well. Right, so we did kind of finish the video last night. So I'm trying to juggle, I'm trying to drink, drink my coffee <laughs> before it gets cold, look. This is my secret Santa present. I'm not sure if that's offensive or not, but... So anyway, sorry, we tried to finish the video. We were going to finish the video last night. Um, and then I drove it home and was amazed by how well it drives. So I thought we'd, we'd add a, to it. And I also posted a picture on social media and loads of you asked loads of questions. So this is just a bolt on bit to the end of the video just to explain a few things. So. This drives better than any than it's ever driven before, comfort-wise. Obviously, it's got a massive tyre compared to what I'm used to, but um, just a lot more grippy, a lot nicer to drive, didn't have to avoid potholes. The same old thing, but yeah, really nice. So, we thought we'd show you how it sits at different ride heights, depending on whether you've got coilovers or air suspension or standard suspension, and give you a bit of help and advice on what tyre size you'd probably go for. So, these tyres are 225-35-17. These work perfectly with air and also with solos you'd be fine with this um, so that's set that's my ride height well, in fact we'll do proper photos so that's that's my ride height drives perfectly looks really good um, but that's air or probably about solos set fairly low would you say Mikey so yeah about midway probably yeah so solos set about midway so now we're going to lift it and show you what it looked like at different heights so if you went slightly bigger tire than this if you were on solos and you wanted to go ever so slightly bigger you could go for a 22560 which cooper do that's going to throw your speedo out by about 1.7 percent so it's plus 1.7 percent so that's really if you were doing 60 it's going to make your speedo out by about a mile an hour so if you were your speedo said you're doing 60 you're actually doing about 59 so this is about b14 height so really this tire size is probably a bit smaller unless you particularly like that look but yeah that's a b14 height ish with these wheels and tire packages so again you definitely you go bigger you could go 22560 um you can also go 23565 with b14s wound all the way up um general grabber do that size and also uh, cooper do the 83 that's going to throw your speedo out by about six 0.5% so plus 6.5% bigger on that size and then from there the most common setup you see because people like the BF Goodrich and it fills that arch gap well if you if people go standard suspension or, or they lift them then the most common is a 24565 on the 17 um, it, it, BF Goodrich do it so it's a really popular tyre the white writing makes it really popular it is a really good tyre but that you bear in mind that's going to throw your speedo out by about eight percent so ideally you want to get somebody to recalibrate your speedo if you're going for something that much bigger but yeah hopefully that gives you an indication of what tyre sizes work well with this wheel so this 
as mentioned lots of times now is the new fuel covert wheel this is just a prototype we've been sent just to test out um, the fuel zephyrs which we'll put a picture of in the corner of the screen we'll be going on pre-order they arrive next week these they're exactly the same size et and um, pcd and everything they're exactly the same size as this wheel made by fuel again but that's the fuel zephyr wheel available in two colors in all black and also in this black with the bronze centers so that's that video done anything else you want to know uh, post below we'll try and do some more videos any questions you've got about wheel and tire size packages or or um anything you want to know about different versions of at wheel drop us a message below and we'll try and make another video uh, as always thanks for watching make sure you click the like button share it with anybody that might be um, interested in at wheels or want to know any more about different tire size options uh, and as always make sure you subscribe and ring the little bell so you get notifications when we upload a new video Thanks for watching. Right, one last thing. Can you hear those quiet compressors? No, I can't even hear. If you've got low air suspension, you need to get those quiet compressors, we'll do. Very good.